In the UK we have this thing called the TV license. It's a yearly fee that people in the UK have to pay to be able to legally watch television programs through t television broadcasting stations. However, more and more people are resorting to the internet for their television viewing pleasures, including content from the BBC. Which is why the BBC have been pushing to try and get this law changed to be able to um, encapsulate devices which do not have a TV receiver, receiver, thusly filling in this loophole. This could possibly mean that in the future you would have to have a license to own a PC. A PC license for the BBC. So how does the current TV license work? Under the Communications Television Licensing Regulations of 2004, it is a legal requirement for a person to have a valid TV license for anything in the household which can receive a television signal from television broadcasting stations. This includes traditional devices like the television, but this can include other devices including DVD slash video recorders or even the humble PC with built-in TV tuner. Also as an interesting note, it is a legal requirement for people to have a t valid TV license when watching live broadcasting. So for the people who are watching live events like possibly the Olympics without live on a PC without a license, they could be breaking the law. So how do the BBC know people do not have a license? How does the government know who to track down and bring the law upon? Under the Wireless Telegraphy Act of 1967, it is a legal requirement for people who sell or rent televisions to pass on the bias detail on to the television authorities so that the authorities then have a database of people who do have a license but more importantly who do not have a license to which case they can then crack down and bring the law upon to them. Interestingly enough, it is not legally required to have a TV license to view television clips or archive footage upon the internet, for example. Which is where the BBC iPlayer comes in. Thanks to its success, which has brought in half a million pe people a day to watch its content, people are possibly using this to get around this loophole. For example, students are using their laptops at home to watch TV content without a license. But they are not breaking the law in this context. This is what the BBC wants to change. The BBC has been wanting to try and change this law for years, and possibly even the early 2000s. And it's not exactly like the BBC are keeping this as a secret. They publicly let everyone know their desires to change the law for the TV licence. Various papers have been published on the internet, and they've even got their own BBC Trust website page for people to look at. The government do plan to keep the current state of the TV licenses fee as it is to around about 2015. But the BBC have been looking far into the future of this to try and change this to try and encapsulate these devices which do not have TV receivers, who, which do not need to be covered by the, the licensing fee. And this is the thing that bugs me the most about this particular law, is the fact that it takes away the people's right not to watch television. For the majority of the people in the UK, over 90%, it's not going to affect them that much because their TV license, which they do have in the household, does cover most, if not all, devices in the household which have a TV receiver, so they'll be fine. The only possible downside of this is the price of the license might go up to encapsulate this. But what about all those people who don't want a TV license, but do have PCs, and they just want to use their PCs? for browsing the internet or doing their work. Do they need a license for this under this new rule? Do they need a license for this new rule if it comes to pass? That doesn't seem fair to me. I mean, come on BBC, there are other models of getting money off people out there. In fact, there are other websites out there which do provide a television service, even for free. One website that comes to mind is Hulu.com, where they stream shows like Family Guy, Bones, Stargate and other shows and even films for as far as I understand for free now the thing is I'm not being able to look into this site more because I'm not from the US and they block anyone who's not within the US from viewing Hulu.com but there's other services like 4OD Channel 4 service for watching content online I mean even, even Sky and ITV have their own services I found out about this news from a friend a while ago 
and the fact was, I was quite disgusted by the fact that they were hoping to change his law, which could mean you need a PC license. And despite this bit of news and information being on the internet for a while on various websites, I don't think enough people know about this fact, which is why I want to say this. I want to let people know that the BBC are thinking about doing this, and frankly, I don't want a license to own a PC.